Good afternoon, uh, Jason Carter here. Today we're exploring the uh, longleaf pine woods around the uh, Laura Walker State Park here. And this is an excellent habitat for uh, snakes, especially rattlesnakes with the gopher tortoise holes and a lot of this uh, mule and birdie or sweet grass that uh, rodents like to eat. So there's always snakes around here. And we've actually found one and we'll get a good look at him here. Right. If we look right here. Nice. We have here is a small eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Um, these guys grow up to about eight foot and probably the most dangerous snake in the U.S. It's not the one that kills the most people. Uh, the Western Diamondback actually kills more people than any other snake in the U.S. But for the size and the amount of venom these guys can jet inject and how potent their venom is, it's both hematoxic and neurotoxic. Uh, these guys are considered very dangerous. Even one this small uh, bite from one of these animals would be a serious medical emergency. You would need to seek medical attention as soon as possible. All right, let's see if we can uh, dig him out and get a little bit better look at him. You notice how well camouflaged he is? How easy it would be to step on this animal. This is an animal you have to be extremely careful with. Like I say, in an isolated habitat like this, a bite from this animal could be a serious medical emergency. Even though he's not aggressive, he's not trying to bite me, uh, if I were to push my luck, if I were to grab this animal, I accidentally stand on it or step on it, um, he would probably bite. So, let's be real careful. Get him out so you can look at him. Yo. Just a small individual. This animal is probably about a year and a half, two years old. Um, he's only got four rattles, so that means he shed his skin four times. Uh, you cannot tell a rattlesnake's age by how many rattles they have. A healthy rattlesnake could shed four or five times a year, and they get a new rattle each time that they shed. Uh, these animals used to be really common in South Georgia, but now they're getting extremely rare due to habitat destruction and also due to uh, human persecution. Uh, rattlesnake rodeos and rattlesnake hunters have taken a major toll on these animals. Now on the mainland they're extremely rare. Uh, on some of the barrier islands, Sapelo Island, Cumberland Island, Osceola Island, places like that, they are still really common. You can find them in great numbers over there. But here on the mainland, very, very rare that you find a uh, eastern diamondback rattlesnake in the wild. Very careful with him here. So you have to be really careful with this animal. Uh, largest rattlesnake in the world can get up to eight feet. It has real long opposable fangs. A full grown animal can have fangs over an inch long, can deliver a deep tissue or even an intravenous bite. And a bite like that from this animal, you would be in serious, serious trouble. So you have to be careful with him. All right, let's uh, put him back down here in his little hole. Going about our business. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Let's move over here so you can get a good look at him before we leave him. There we go coil back up in ambush position or defense position uh, waiting for something to come by or defend itself against a predator again a very dangerous animal give it a wide berth if you leave them alone they'll leave you alone 